Hello Brawlers and welcome to the Baku Talk News, I'm Haru Ren, so let's just get down into it. The first story comes in from Ethan Monster, if you guys don't know, he's a YouTuber that usually collects Pokemon cards, does reviews on toys and openings and stuff, he's very well known in the Bakugan scene, he's actually one of the Baku Masters. He recently posted this video on Tuesday titled, Rest in Peace Bakugan, the complete collection showing his collection of Bakugan, and in the description of the video he writes, the beginning of the end, the Bakugan journey has been long and hard but fun. Every Every Bakugan added into our collection and which we will never forget. Thank you for watching and seeing everything Bakugan offered to experience. So it's actually unknown what Ethan meant by this, it just seems like Ethan and Hardcore Lecter are going to quit Bakugan, which is really insane. Again, it's still unknown what they mean by this video, but if they are quitting Bakugan, we just want to wish them the best of luck in everything they do in the future and it won't be the same without you. But in our next story, this is an update to the Funko Pop story. If you guys didn't know, Toybook.com posted an article back in August saying Spin Master has given the Bakugan license to Funko Pop which was huge news for Bakugan merchandising. Funko Pop News recently tweeted out a report saying that the Bakugan Funko Pops will be coming in the future but will feature the Legacy series instead of the reboot. Explaining further, they supposedly got the figures that will be made into vinyls including Dan, Runo, Shun, Dragonoid, Tagrera, and Storm Skyrus. This was interesting because in the Toy Book article they did mention that Shang Man the director of licensing and sales for Spin Master North America was quoted as saying our adult program targets legacy fans leaning into the classic Bakugan franchise complete with art from the original 2007 series. However there is a thing to keep in mind with this list of figures these are not 100% confirmed as there is no official word or announcement from either Funko Pop or Spin Master and it is unknown what their sources are at Funko Pop News and I quite find it very weird that Masquerade and Hydranoid or even Morucho aren't even on this list. Now in our final story for today, we seem to have a small look at some year 3 Bakugan. These are from Ivan Kevin on Instagram. Now before we show you these published images, please keep in mind these are not 100% confirmed and plans are subject to change. There is going to be a new Dragonoid for the new season which looks really chubby. It's not known if this is a core or an ultra, but judging from the backside, it might be an ultra. There's a new Bakugan called Shaktar. That's going to be a really exciting one. This is a core version and this one, Ivan actually showed the character card. An 801 aura list with double orange shield. From Sharktor's art, he kind of reminds me of King Shark from the DC comics. There's also Falcon, which is clearly based on Falconeer from the original series and will also have a diamond form. You can check out more by following Ivan Kevin on Instagram. Now, these are very exciting though, but please do keep in mind these are not 100% confirmed and plans are subject to change. Be sure to keep an eye on Spin Master and Bakugan socials for any updates, especially since the 2020 Invitationals are coming up soon, which is still up in the air actually due to the current pandemic. Also hashtag free Hydranoid! Is Bakugan actually losing players to the Digimon TCG? You can check out that new story by clicking the video to your left and you can also watch my video essay on why I think Bakugan is awesome. Support Baku Talk by pressing the thumbs up and give us a subscribe for more awesome Bakugan content. I've been Haru Ren and that was Bakugan. Bye!